I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Constant Magic. Pixel Your Site, it's a WordPress plugin that implements tracking and Constant Magic, it's a Constant plugin, again, for WordPress. In this video, I want to answer a few key questions about Constant. What you need to do, when um, do you need to stop tracking your users, when do you need permission, and um, important things like that. So let's start with the main question. Can I track my visitors if they don't give me their explicit permission? Uh, it depends. If your visitor is from an EU country covered by the GDPR um, rules, you definitely need their consent before tracking them. So before you start using uh, the Facebook Pixel, Google Ads tag, Pinterest tag, TikTok tag, anything, anything that might track them and their personal data, you need their uh, explicit consent if they are from a GDPR country. If they are uh, from California, for example, you can track them, but you need to offer them the option to opt out of tracking. So uh, they need a message explaining what you're doing with their data and giving them an actual technical option to say, no, no, don't uh, track me, I don't want this. For other countries, I don't know, it depends. Uh, maybe they have other regulations, but usually you just need to inform them about um, the use of cookies and other scripts that might track their move and private data on your website. So that's uh, the usual annoying cookie constant banner. Okay. Um, I have visitors from different countries or regions. What do, what do I need to do? Uh, well, ideally, you should implement a different um, option based on their origins. Uh, so if you have traffic from, let's say, um, Germany and, uh, I don't know, Brazil, I don't know what's the legisla legislation in Brazil. I assume they they don't have um, legislation as tough of, as the GDPR. So for the German user, you will definitely need their consent before tracking them. For the Brazilian user, assuming that, that they don't have uh, similar legislation, you will not need a similar approach. So uh, the consent message will be different and the technical way it's implemented will be different. The, the one for the German user, German user will be uh, will will stop, will block tracking all your scripts before um, they say yes. For the Brazilian one, assuming they don't have similar legislation, uh, you just you, you don't need to, to to block tracking before they say yes. So uh, you should have various separate rules depending on your. Uh, visitor visitors location uh, my business is not based in the you should I bother with all these GDPR stuff uh, yeah yeah because if you have uh, visitors from the EU they bring their own rights so you must respect their rights and yes you should have a, a GDPR uh, set up for them meaning uh, blocking tracking before they give you uh, consent so yeah you, you still need to bother with this uh, I use Facebook conversion API should I worry about visitor consent in any way absolutely absolutely in fact um, it's even worse because uh, you share data from your users with third party when you use Facebook conversion API so you definitely need to inform them and uh, if they are from GDPR countries, you need their permission to, do, to share data with Facebook. And I think Facebook's own term um, require this kind of setup. So uh, yeah, uh, consent applies to Facebook conversion API. Absolutely, yes. Okay, Facebook already asks for user consent. Isn't this enough? In fact, Facebook do have various ways to ask for consent and uh, for visitors um, coming from GDPR countries on their website and their app, they have a consent prompt and uh, 
they stop tracking cookies if they uh, don't have uh, express agreement from the users. However, this doesn't cover you. You still need your own consent solution. You still need to uh, ask for their permission and follow their um, uh, consent. So yeah, the fact that uh, Facebook has it uh, is not enough. You, you still need yours. You still need to manage consent or your own. Uh, I have a cookie prompt on my website. Is this enough? Uh, not really, because cookies are just part of what's going on. You might have other technologies that you need to explain, like Facebook conversion API. So the, the traditional cookie consent is not enough. And if it doesn't um, allow users to opt out of tracking, or if it doesn't block tracking for negative consent um, or for um, users that didn't express consent yet, uh, is not is not uh, is not good enough. So no. Okay, I want a small consent message that doesn't bother my user. Is this a problem? <laughs> Sometimes it is uh, when, uh, well, GDPR, again, uh, requires you to ask for consent before you are able to track your users. And chances are that your uh, solution that implements that consent message also blocks uh, scripts that send data to Google, to Facebook, to Pinterest, to TikTok, any, any tag you might have. And if the message is small and easy to ignore, the result will be that you will not track uh, your user at all. They will not see the message or they will just uh, don't do anything. And tracking scripts that track your users are blocked because that's uh, the requirement. So uh, what you want, especially for GDPR users, it's a large message, something that uh, don't doesn't let them do anything else before saying yes or no to tracking. So no, a small message uh, is not a good idea for GDPR countries. You need a big one that cannot be ignored because you want them to say something. If they say yes, you can track them. If they say no, that's it. You, you just need to respect their option. So uh, uh, a small message is not uh, a good idea. Okay, those are the keys things about uh, consent and uh, I hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel and uh, like the video it will help us reach more people and help more people with our videos thank you very much